Hi, welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 3. It's really dark down here. Metal Gear. There's a couple ways you can see, and the uh, the mo one most the way most readily available to us is uh, just taking out the cigar. I say it makes it easier to see, but um, in recorded video, it's still really hard to see. Yeah, but I mean, I I assume it must look a little bit better on TV. It does. On, on an actual TV, too, you can adjust the brightness, too. Yeah, oh, that's true. Okay. So, this area is actually really boring, because there's no enemies. It's just... You can explore all that you want, so... We're gonna go in a... We're gonna go speed through most of this area. So, what you're saying is, if I turn up the brightness on my screen... I don't think oh. it works with the recorded video. <laughs> I... Because I tried to do that in, um... Recording, or editing. <laughs> Anyway, All I hope games. no one gets, uh, I, I hope no one gets offended by the, uh, cigarette bleeping noise. <laughs> Alvin! Theodore! <laughs> you know, Meadow, I never thought that Snake would ever sound funny, sped up. You know, me neither. I sort of always assume that he's gonna sound gruff as hell. Hmm. No, just starting up like two times speed makes him funny as a chipmunk. <laughs> you know, um, for some reason, I'm thinking about his cigar. Has there ever been like a mention of what kind of cigars he likes? Um, I'm not sure actually. I'm kind of wondering if it's like an actual brand. Uh, I'm not Ko sure. Kojima, get on that, because like whoever you promote is probably gonna get like a giant boom in sales. Anyway, uh, this is a special mushroom. I see you found some Russian glow caps. The Russian glow cap is a kind of luminescent fungus, a mushroom that glows in the dark. Why would a mushroom glow in the dark? It's bioluminescent, just like a firefly. It uses the so-called luciferin luciferase reaction. To put it simply, luciferin reacts with luciferase in the presence of magnesium 2 plus ions breaking it down into oxyluciferin and carbon dioxide. The carbonyl groups in the oxyluciferin are initially in an electrical excited state. When they return to their base state, they give off light. Did you get all that? Not really. Oh. By the way, does that mushroom recharge your batteries when you eat it? Huh? I mean, it seems like if you ate a glowing mushroom, it might recharge your batteries or something. Snake, your batteries are organic batteries. They produce electricity by utilizing the potential difference between cells. Organic batteries are known for their highly efficient energy conversion, but they still rely on chemical reactions between proteins and enzymes to- So you're saying they'll get recharged? Believe what you want. Right. Anyway, uh, since we have it, we might as well try it out. That's not the food menu. You're not a food. Said to recharge the battery when eaten. That doesn't show up unless you do this conversation. Oh, hey. really? No, it does not. And look at that, our battery's recovered. Nice. Paramedic. What's up? You were right. About what? I ate a Russian glow cap and it charged up my batteries. Huh? What's wrong? I, uh, that's, that's great. Um, Snake, can you excuse me for a second? Sure. Did you just hear that? Yeah. There's no way eating a bioluminescent mushroom would cause your batteries to recharge. What do you think it means? Beats me. Maybe it's all in his mind. You mean like a placebo effect? <laughs> Why not? You've seen how gullible he is. Well, I guess there's no harm done. Should we let him keep believing it? Sounds good to me. Okay, Snake, I'm back. Yes, the Russian glow cap is a glowing mushroom, so it'll recharge your batteries when you eat it. So, how long did it take you without, if you didn't speed it up? Like 40 minutes? 30, 40? Well, that's not so bad. This is, yeah, this is, this is also including all the times I just pause to check the map to 
orient myself. Because <laughs> even in like the Snake Eater camera, the camera just like orients it so that like it's pointing at a wall. Mm. Also, I somehow forgot to grab the an the uh, animal camo from um, the beginning of the area that you get for stamina killing Ocelot. Oh, man, I, I was wondering, I was starting to get worried that this wasn't a 100% run. Oh man, best camo pattern. Yep. Chicks love it. Also, wearing it will um, remove like hand wobbling when you're aiming if you're low on stamina. Oh, that's awesome. I don't really plan on being low on stamina, but it's helpful. Look, you gotta be ready for any sort of occasion. Okay, okay. That's why that's why in sequels, boss has a tuxedo. <laughs> it's perfect beach attire, we all know this. You can get a tuxedo in this game too. Sweet. It's new game plus stuff though. Aw. Uh, spoilers. Anyway, that was a dead end. <laughs> I like the sound. It's like he's got like a little outboard motor on him. <laughs> I, I know it's great. <laughs> Ooh, tick, 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 tick. <laughs> I wish there was a coding call for that. Snake, you found our experimental motorboat technology? <laughs> he's just got like one of those hand uh, fans. You know the ones that are battery operated. <laughs> Anyway, uh, it is worth your time to explore around here, because uh, there is that battery there, and batteries are really useful. Because there's only a limited amount, right? Yeah. Do, um, you know, I don't think I've ever heard anybody explain uh, otherwise. Uh, do, like, vegetation, like, does, do mushrooms and, and plants and whatnot, do they, like, regrow? Or once you collect one, that's it? I assume? Well, I don't know, actually. Because, like, you're never actually retreading ground too right, much. Right, right. Also, back here we found a torch. So, uh, that's another option for seeing oh. in here. Wait, wait, is it a British torch or an American torch? American. Okay. For some reason, it's considered a weapon. Well, I mean, it's a stick on fire. You could punch, you could, like, baseball bat that. Yeah. Also, uh, another way you could just see is just by waiting around. Like, one of the, like, that's one of my favorite easter eggs about this game. Like, if you just wait long enough, Snake's eyes will adjust to the darkness, and you can kind of see. Nice. Again, it doesn't come across very well in this recorded video, but it's a, it's a really nice detail. I, I wonder, like, how somebody figured that out. I guess, like, they just, maybe, like... Oh, I'm in a cave, nothing will happen, I'll just go make some food, and then came back and was like, wow, I, I, did I mess the brightness settings or something? <laughs> I would've just found out by, like, turning on and off, like, my cig uh, the cigar or the torch, because I got bored. <laughs> this doesn't seem dangerous at all, just crawling through with a torch? No. Look, limited supply of oxygen means nothing to an open flame. Mm. Anyway, uh, just walking through this room with a torch out will bring out the bats, and that's kind of a cool detail. Wait, so if you just walk without the torch, it doesn't do anything? Um... So I would have not... thought that, the, that they would have come out no matter what. Well, maybe. I don't know. It just seems like they just came out in response to the torches. Right, and, right. uh, th right there were the night vision goggles. Do, uh, do the bat like, can the bats hurt you? No, this isn't Zelda. Oh. So I was gonna say, like, you, you've got the torch to protect you. <laughs> anyway, um... Uh, so, this is that dead end we were at earlier. At, up top was the night vision goggles, and that was kind of a tease. Ah. Uh, so what you're saying is we did, like, an entire loop? Yeah. But hey, that's this whole area explored, I believe. <laughs> and that snake getting hungry. <laughs> Snake is no fan of the uh, Russian rations. Look, I'm just waiting for the Christmas special where Snake and his three buddies, or two buddies, roam around town. What what do Alvin and the Chipmunks do? Um, sing? I guess. 
by the end of this, I will make Snake enjoy those Russian rations. <laughs> you know, it kind of makes me curious as to what is in a Russian ration. I don't know, but it's probably not very appetizing. Uh, from from what most people have told me, most rations do not taste good. That's true. Also, easiest way to <laughs> clear out or to get food in this area, just throw a grenade. Just stun all those bats. Yep. Seems like a mean thing to do. You gotta get food somehow. Yeah, but I mean, they are blind, and then, you know, flashbangs are, are terrible things to experience. Mm. Anyway, just, uh... just don't ever go up against a nine banger. Those things are the worst. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, over here was the uh, M37 that we, I guess, lost when the boss threw us off the bridge. Probably, or it's another one, I don't know. Nice. Well, hey, is, are we, like, are we close to that same bridge? I thought we were pretty <clears throat> far away from it. I'm not sure, actually. Hmm. There's just now... a random M37 here in this cave. Look, I believe it. Also, snow camo. That's not gonna come in. That's not gonna be handy until way later, and even then, I'm not gonna use it. So, during the Russian winter. <laughs> yes, this is the best camo to have for the Russian winters. Well, I'm just I'm I'm trying to piece together how winter camo and an M37 managed to get into a cave where nobody else. Like, I mean, we didn't see a skeleton, but I guess we didn't really see much. There are actually skeletons in this area. I just didn't. See stop to look at any of them. Oh, uh, okay. I guess that's probably where this stuff came from. Hey, you want to know why the winter camo was in there? <laughs> oh no. It was a cold war. Oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, th I think that's the only one I'm going to do just because... <laughs> With the hang up button. <laughs> <laughs> look, you you're just going to cut... Let's get started. I don't I don't really ever assume that someone who controls bees or wasps or hornets or any sort of like bug like that would be like super athletic. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, uh to start with he'll throw out this stuff at you, which I believe is just a thing that'll make the bees home in on you. Is it, is it me or does his voice actor remind you of um, Bomb Man? Uh, what, was, what was his name? I can't Wait, remember. Bomb Man? From Mega Man? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, the demolitions guy from NGS2. Oh, oh, Fat Man. Fat Man, that's it. Ah. I don't know. A little bit, yeah. Anyway, um, after a little, you can shoot him a little bit, but then he'll put up his B-shield, and then, like, you can't shoot him anymore. <laughs> so, that's when you just take out, like, a, like a rifle or a shotgun to disperse his armor. <laughs> the idea of a B-shield makes me laugh. Way more than it should. Mm. He'll, he'll also use his bees to, like, car slowly carry a grenade over to you. <laughs> and they pull the pin. Yeah. Anyway, uh... <laughs> I decided now would be a good time to go fishing. Look, when is it a bad time to go fishing? When there's no fish? Well, I was good. I would have also accepted thunderstorms, but oh yeah, that's a that too. <laughs> Just storms in general. Uh, the pain Do brings out various different weapons, such as the Tommy gun. Of bees. Yeah. Does this game have sharks? 
I don't think so. Oh man. Missed an opportunity. I mean, <laughs> Snake clearly goes after the most dangerous of game. <laughs> but yeah, this game is basically just um, hide and seek. Tommy God. Just dive into the water when he sees you, shoot <laughs> at him when he can't see you, disperse his bees, and then just shoot at him some more. Man, I'm going. Either I'm going crazy, or that looked like the Final Fantasy thing. Because <laughs> it looked like he was charging up for an attack, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, like, the black bar at the bottom and all that. Oh. I kind of want to see a Final <laughs> Fantasy overlay now. <laughs> Just like Snake uses AK 47. Oh, man. And then he runs up to the. to the pain and, like, butts him with a rifle. And then runs back to the starting position. <laughs> anyway, I'm not really a big fan of the AK-47 in this fight. Like, you can- it works, it just takes forever to get his, uh, B shield off. Hmm. I'm kinda curious as to why that is. It's useless. Um... <laughs> probably because it's, like, little damage, but, like, a lot of it. Whereas, like, the shotgun is big damage, but little by little, but it's big enough that you can just take out the shield in not very many hits. Right, right. I kind of feel like maybe it's because bullets aren't, like, they don't scatter, right? Hmm, I guess. It's like shotgun, you know, you're, it's a bunch of pellets. Unless you're using slugs, but whatever, you're not using slugs. Right. Also, um... When you surface, the bees can find you sometimes too. Oh man! So, so uh, does he? So does he have like telepathy with bees as well? I think like, so. Yeah, that sort of implies it. The pain is the worst person to play hide and seek with. <laughs> Just gonna throw I, that out there. I almost wish that his name was the Queen, because <laughs> it would kind of make a little bit more sense. And oh again, man. Well, Queen isn't in motion, so... <laughs> and then he, like, comes out in drag. <laughs> it's like, no! <laughs> this is not the right... <laughs> Pink camo everywhere. Also, you can't throw grenades at him because his bees will intercept them. So wow. fast! These guys are mean. Seriously. It's a good thing we were underwater, otherwise we would have been stunned. <laughs> Wait, if a if a flashbang explodes underwater, you you're not affected? Well, like if we're underwater then we're not as affected as much. Right, it, right. It's like if you hit in a box, basically, yeah. like I did earlier. Okay. I missed. <laughs> Look, nobody's judging you. I've told you once, I told you twice. I don't even want to know how that works. Very poorly, I imagine, for most people. You know, I bet, I bet the they keep him around just for his honey. Probably. He's probably really delicious. I tried to snake him, but I uh. couldn't throw it far enough. I'm sorry, snake. I think I just drowned you. You gotta aim higher, man. Gotta I don't get think that I pressed trajectory. the button. I don't think I pressed the button hard enough. Is the problem? Oh. Quick, capture a fish and throw the fish at him. Oh, I should have. I have plenty of fish. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, those are his tracking bees. Uh, kind of a pain in the ass. Not too much, but just dive into the water and swim away. That's basically it for this fight. Is there, uh, does the torch do anything in this fight? Oh, I should have checked that. Because, I mean, I I know they don't like smoke. Hmm. You know, the cigar probably would have been able to do something, too. Yeah, now that I think about it, that, that would maybe do 
something. Hmm. Oh, there is one little Easter egg that I really wanted to show off, but I couldn't because I couldn't find find the item I needed. Aww. But if you bring a hornet's nest to this fight and hold it out, like the bees will just fly right into the hornet's nest, and Super. then the hornet's nest will never rot from then on. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I re. I I loaded up a couple save files from before, like I started recording, hoping to find a hornet's nest, but I couldn't. Now, does it do any like? Is there any special benefit aside from it never rotting? I think it's like a maximum like stamina recovery too. Oh, nice. Now that I think about it, I think there might have been some hornet's nest in the ocelot fight. Uh, yeah, there's one. Well, wasn't it on ocelot's side? Well, I mean, there were probably some on your side too. I think one uh, of the bees hit me at the end there. <laughs> the pain. The pain. The pain. The pain. Once you have like six of them stuck in your pants, and and they're like moving around, like trying to fucking stab you, yeah, yeah, you, you kind of, my opinion changed on them that day. Wasps are real fuckers. Yeah, fuck wasps. Burn them. Burn them all.